Hi, this is John Kelly of 6x6 Design Website Services and welcome back to our continuing series of tutorials on how to use WordPress as a content management system. And again, we're using WordPress version 2.8.4 here. Uh, however, your, whatever your version is, I'm sure it's very similar as long as it's uh, within the past year or so. But anyway, what we talked about in the last tutorial was how to go into our content and make changes. So the example site that we used here is Bob Britton's Professional Auto Care website. And again, this is a theme that we've made out of his existing website for WordPress. And uh, we use this site as for demonstration purposes and such as for this video too. But keep in mind that we spoke of last time that your permissions allow you to be an editor. And that's to change content, basically, whatever you see in the middle of the page. Anything around the outside edges requires admin permissions to log into the admin panel to be able to change a theme or do whatever you wish. Now this theme was made to uh, specifications of the website owner to look just the way it is. Uh, however, keep in mind that your theme could look like anything. It could look like anything on the internet and uh, it's not strictly limited to this template. But to uh, get back where we were, we in the last lesson learned how to go into the actual page itself, go into the content uh, editor and we called it a WYSIWYG editor or what you see is what you get and we were able to take this word here Rochester New York and change its color and make it bold uh, just as one example and we also said one other thing that we can do content wise is we can change the name of our menu titles as well we can also add and remove pages at will as well so one of the things we want to do in this particular tutorial is show you how to add an image to this so let's try that so if I scroll down and go to log in. If you notice, I'm already logged into my admin section. So if I just click this, it brings me right back into my dashboard. If you are not logged in, then of course your page pops up with username and password, and then it brings you here to the dashboard. So we left last left off on the pages menu here, and we knew we found out that we can, if we click edit, we can go over here and see our list of pages come up and uh, since we're going to add an image we're going to go to the home page and the content opens up and we can find some place on this screen here well let's just say I want to place a picture on this page any image in fact I'll use my image uh, what's important to know about placing an image is how high up in the content you want it do you want it up high or do you want it down lower wherever you may be if you want it down at the bottom well you would click somewhere here down on the bottom and place it when it comes to position as far as center, left, or right of the page, well, there's controls that do that. We're going to show you that in just a minute. So let's just click here in the middle of the page, and we'll place an image here. Now, to do so, it's actually quite easy. If I look at my controls up here, you notice you have an upload or insert option. Well, this itself is not a link, but the icons next to it are. They're not very obvious. They never really were, and it confuses people, so that's why I want to point it out to you. If you notice I move my mouse over this box here, it says add an image, that particular icon. Next one's add a video, next one's add media, um, add music, and next one's add media. So in this case we want to add a picture. So what I'm going to do is click on add a picture and insert it into the place that we talked about. You have three options. I can insert it from my computer, which simply means if I were to click on select files it's going to take me to a location on my computer to go find it well that's one way of doing it you simply go on your computer and filter down to where your file is click it and it uploads another thing you can do here is you can take it from a URL somewhere else but of course you need permission from another website to do that <laughs> so don't just go taking other people's images and say well that would look real nice on my website you can't do that it's a uh, copyright infringement and uh, somebody could actually go after you and make sure that gets removed so please uh, don't do that without permission buy your pictures if you have to or make your own uh, but if you do have a picture hosted on another URL somewhere you have permission to use then what you can do is simply go to that website and uh, find that image so for example let's say we have an image of me here if I were to right click on this image and I'm in Firefox I'm able to do this Firefox browser, Internet Explorer, you can't do this, but if I view the image, you notice the picture comes up. 
when this happens, it gives me the URL where this image is. So I could actually take that URL, just clicking on it, right click or control C and uh, copy either one. And then I can go back to the tab that I'm working in here, image URL, and I could place it there. And when I hit, um, after I go down and I give it a title, I click insert into post, well, it'll take me there and it'll place that picture in here. Of course, assuming I have permission. Another way I can do it is the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to my gallery. I've already uploaded this picture by doing the upload from computer option. I already have this in my gallery. So if I want to do that, here's the picture I want to use. I click on show and I make sure I give it a the image a title. Now the image title is important here. Uh, when you actually add text here for the title attribute, what you're doing is when you move the mouse over an image, you know how it gives a little yellow box and describes what the picture is? That's important because these could be keywords or search terms that somebody could find you with. A search engine cannot see images, so it's important to always describe an image. Now in this case, I'm going to give it a caption, which means it's going to draw a little box underneath the or around it and a, a little space underneath is going to put my name in there, John Kelly. I could also give it a description. It's not real important uh, at this point in time to do so. And um, if I wanted to make this whole picture a clickable link, well, I'd go up and find a URL to something I want to make it, click and paste it in there, and then that becomes a hyperlink. But I don't want to make it a link right now. I just want to add this picture. Now, my other options would be I can place this on the right side of the page, the center, the left. Um, as far as sizing options, well, I only have one option right now because it's already an uploaded small image, as you can see by the size here. So it defaults to full size. No big deal. So all I'm going to do is insert into post. Now the other option I have is save all changes. That just saves whatever I changed here to the library, the image gallery. If I click insert into post and I just uploaded this image, it'll do both. It'll save it to my gallery and puts it into the post. So I clicked insert it into post and you can see the picture, you can see the caption. If I go back to this image and remove the caption, then you'll just see the picture without the gray box in my name there. If you ever wanted to edit this picture, maybe you want to make it move to the left. Well, no problem. I click on it and click on the edit image icon and all I have to do now is, well, and also you can see how I can resize it too. I want to leave it 100%, but if I want to move it to the left, well, I click on left. I want to put it in the center. You notice it leaves a space above and below it. But we'll keep it here on the right. And um, we're going to say we're all done. We'll just hit update, whatever our change would be. Now, after I have that in place, I could go and preview my changes and see what that looks like on the actual screen. So this opens up a preview window. And you can see what it would look like. Now, again, if you made this a link, you would see the hand come up and this would be a clickable link. It's not. But you can see right here how that title option works. See a little yellow box that pops up whenever I hover, <clears throat> excuse me, hover over the picture. Okay, so these could be key terms that you can place there. And uh, if you want those key terms to be searchable. Okay, so that's exactly how we do that. And what we're going to do is go back to where we were. Now to do that I'm just going to close up this preview screen and go back to where we were and I want to get rid of the picture. Well actually you know what we'll keep the picture there for now. And the next tutorial what we're going to show you how to do is actually how to add a video. And basically to do that we're going to go up here where it says upload or insert. Instead of add an image we're going to add a, add a video to this. But we'll show you that that's a slightly different step and uh, we'll get into that in the next video. So we'll see you in the next tutorial.